once he stood, like a lily in a flood, like a rock of blue-veined stone, lashed by tides obstreperously, like a beacon left alone in a hoary, roaring sea, sending up a golden fire, like a fruit-crowned orange tree, white with blossoms honey-sweet, sore beset by wasp and bee, like a royal virgin town, topped with gilded dome and spire. Close beleaguered by a fleet, mad to tuck their standard down. One may be the horse to water, twenty cannot make him drink. Though the goblins cuffed and caught her, coaxed and fought her, bullied and besought her, scratched her, pinched her black as ink, kicked and knocked her, mauled and mocked her, was he uttered not a word, would not open lip from lip, lest they should cram a mouthful in. That laughed and hard to feel the drip of juice that syruped all her face, and lodged in dimples of her chin, and streaked her neck which quaked like a curd. At last, the evil people, worn out by her resistance, flung back her pen and kicked their fruit along whichever road they took, not leaving root or stone or shoe. Some writhed into the ground, some dived into the brook with ring and ripple. Some scudded on the gale without a sound, some vanished in the distance. Your 
sake I have braved the glen and had to do with goblin merchant men. Or like a caged thing freed, or like a flying flag when armies run, 